welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. Today's video will focus on inflation. Inflation is a rise in the general level of prices over time. When prices rise, you can't buy as much with your money. It can also be described as the purchasing power of your money having decreased. Your nominal income is the exact amount of money that you earn. However, if there is inflation in a period, then the income will buy less at the end of that period than it did at the start. Your real income takes account of inflation and is a measure of what you can buy with that income. It is unusual for nominal incomes to fall. In fact, most people receive a small raise to their nominal income each year. Real wages, on the other hand, could either rise or fall. It depends on whether the nominal raise in income is higher or lower than the rate of inflation. If you receive a 2% increase in your nominal income, but inflation is running at 4%, you've actually had a 2% decrease in real income because the costs of the goods you were buying have gone up more than your income has. In a similar way to incomes, nominal interest is the amount of interest actually being paid or charged. Real interest, on the other hand, takes account of inflation. If you're paid 4% nominal interest on your savings, but inflation is at 2%, then your real interest rate would be 2%, not 4%. For people with mortgages, inflation lowers the real value of both the interest they have to pay back and the principal that they owe as well. But it's certainly not all good news for mortgage holders. High inflation rates will often lead to an increase in interest rates, which could see them paying more on their mortgages. We measure inflation using the Consumer Price Index, often seen abbreviated to CPI. This measures the changes in the cost of a basket of goods and services over time. The measurements are taken across a variety of types of stores in around 140 locations across the UK and from the internet and over the phone. This is to ensure that the Consumer Price Index is reflective of the different prices that are faced by different people in different parts of the country. The basket of goods aims to be representative of the sort of things an average household might buy. It's made up from representative goods from a range of categories. Making up 24% of the items in the basket, food and non-alcoholic beverages is by far the largest category, followed by recreation and culture, and clothing and footwear. Importantly, the items in the basket of goods change to reflect changing patterns in society. In 2022, additions included meat-free sausages, canned pulses, sports bras, pet collars, and antibacterial surface wipes, while removals included donuts, men's suits, and coal. That brings us to the end of this video on inflation. Join me again next time when we'll be looking at how to analyse inflation figures and at the causes of inflation. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.